Somebody else who gets paid to tell you what the ruling class wants to hear, and she exposed herself the other day, Joy Reid. I don't know if you caught this there, ladies and gentlemen, but she had a hot mic moment in which she told her truth, or her, her actual opinions about what's going on, which is very different to her on-camera presence. Take a listen to this. Over the weekend, President Biden said he's ready to take action if Congress is serious about solving the border issue. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. And Congress needs to get it done. Starting another fucking war. <laughs> well, you know, Joy Reid didn't have to pay a price for that. Of course she did not. Not just speaking the truth, even though she exposed herself. Let's not forget that Joy Reid was the first pusher of Russiagate. She broke it during the primaries and acted like it was so important. And now here she is with a hot mic and... I feel bad for the person who left that microphone on that person. He or she probably got fired. But Joy Reid's going to be able to keep her job. Just a little apologies. Ha, you know what I'm saying? But where are we, the people, on this? We shouldn't be so upset when you hear people like Steve Malsberg, who was on RT the other day, going, this is terrible. This is ludicrous. She's a Trump hater and whatnot. No, what she should get in trouble for is the fact that she goes out and spews propaganda on the reg. But her real opinions, which, she, which was exposed in that F-bomb, are that she even knows that it's crazy over the top that the Biden administration is going to start another war. And by the way, it's not Biden. It's the same apparatus that was there, which George W. Bush, that continued to be there for Barack Obama. And a lot of people were hired on Donald Trump's campaign, right? The Boltons, the Elliott Abrams, the Pompeos, uh, the Bars. These people are unelected officials who've been controlling foreign policy for quite some time. And Joy Reid right there just exposed herself. She should resign, too, as well. We got Mr. Cotton, Nancy Pelosi, and Joy Reid today on the show. And, of course, Mr. John Kirby should all quit. It's time for a revolution in this country, ladies and gentlemen. And the first thing we got to do is make sure that these people pay a hefty price for their lies, their propaganda. Joy Reid will just go on doing what she always does, and that's selling the narrative of the deep state, selling the narrative of the ruling class.